employee is now one of the 16 people who tested positive for COVID-19 in Butte County. Action News Now's Vanessa Romo joins us now. And Vanessa, should people be concerned about whether the buses are safe? I talked to the Butte County Association of Governments today and asked it about the employees' contact with passengers, co-workers, and what they're doing moving forward. On Monday, a case of COVID-19 was confirmed by Butte County Public Health for a Beeline employee. As for this person's position. You know, all I can state is this is a trans dev employee and, um, you know, we reviewed everything with the Butte County Public Health Department. They concluded through their investigation that uh, this person didn't present any danger to the public. And passengers using the B-Line were not and are not at risk in using the B-Line. That's according to Butte County Association of Governments. It also said the employee last worked on April 10th. Are other employees being tested for COVID-19 since this happened? I'm not allowed to indicate that, no. Clark also was unable to comment on if any employees are quarantined but says just working in, uh, with Butte County Public Health to ensure that we're following all the required procedures and protocols to make sure that um, our buses are safe. Clark goes on to say that the buses are sanitized multiple times a day. Drivers are expected to wear masks and gloves and are six feet away from passengers. As for the employee that tested positive for COVID-19. Uh, they're doing fine. They're doing a home quarantine. Due to the stay-at-home order, ridership has declined about 80%, so social distancing is much easier to do on the bus. Vanessa Romo, Action News Now. Due to the decline in ridership, by the way, bus times and schedules have been adjusted. You can find